I just want to come in and make a quick video. Got my Palo Santo. Hopefully you guys had an easy day. Today I was outside working in the yard and I wanted to put this video out today. Even though today has been a very eventful day. I started off with using my weed whacker and cleaning some areas of the yard that needed to be cut back. We have potato vines in our yard that tend to grow over fruit trees and um, it could kill a tree and some of these potato vines are pretty aggressive so if you're familiar with them you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to set my Palo Santo aside. I'm going to drink some water. Hopefully you could hear me. It's definitely getting warm here in Florida. And Spirit led me to discuss kindness. Kindness. <laughs> and I know most of you, that comes very naturally to you. Sometimes we all have bad days. But we can express kindness through the words, actions, deeds, thoughts, our intentions to other people. I have my little fan going, so I didn't want to run the AC because it was gets too loud. So hopefully the fan's not too loud. It's a great little fan that I got off Amazon. But um, it really doesn't cost anything to be kind. And most of you I know are good natured people. Some people struggle, depending where you are in your life. <clears throat> Let me see if I could, yeah, there we go, adjust the camera. I was just driving down the road the other day and a guy was going really fast and kind of swerving, going in and out of lanes, which is, um, It's totally fine, but he was in such a rush, but he was behind me, and I like to take, have like two car lengths between my car and another car, and I try to keep that distance, and um, with this growth of people in Florida, we have a lot of um, impatient drivers, and I'm not making a judgment call, it's just that when I grew up, um, maybe I just wasn't aware of, of it, or maybe when I was one of those drivers, that could be it. But um, he was really upset <laughs> because he was right up on my back end of my car, and I guess I wasn't going fast enough, even though I was going 60 five maybe he was just right on me um i think it's even at the speed limit there is a 55 or 60 but sometimes we have those moments it's a it's a learning moment where you're going to have a situation like that where someone might have road rage and i'm a pretty patient driver usually i'm not in a big rush and I've always learned I've learned to let people go in front of me if they're in a rush but this guy I caught his face and he was so angry so angry and I don't know if he was having a bad day maybe he was in a rush he was late going somewhere but I just remember the impression of his face just so angry and I had my mom with me so I mean this is you know this guy was probably 
in his early to late 60s. So it doesn't matter. You know, it's not an age thing. It's just practicing mindfulness of being kind with your actions and with your words, your thoughts and your deeds. And it's, it's kind of sad that <laughs> we have to be reminded to be kind, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> to be kind or to act that way in the mundane world that we live in, from driving to people making comments to you, about you that are so unnecessary they just come from this lower vibration to me it's very um it shows me where they are spiritually and they might go to church every sunday they might you know pray every night um but just observe observe people observe how they act and try to learn, you know, we're all learning lessons, but try to learn also how people are and if it's genuine. That's part of our intuition, that's part of, of building and developing our intuition to understand people's intentions and the validity of their kindness. Um, if they're really like that. Most of the time you could tell with people just by their energy. You know, does everyone get mad once in a blue moon? Yes. Does everybody get frustrated? Sure. Do I? Absolutely. And we all have those impulses, whether to comment something negative, you know, or you know, even gossip about people or just talk behind their back while they're not there and not in a good light. So all of this actually helps um, you become more aware when you practice what you say. And in fact, thinking about what you say prior to saying something, prior to reaction. And Spirit wants me to emphasize that things like kindness and positive words and giving your time to, to speak with people, to talk, to ask questions, to learn about others that perhaps you might not ever see again, just to make those connections, that's all part of raising your vibration and strengthening your spiritual development in your spiritual body and are we going to be a hundred percent perfect all the time probably not but when people make it a point to intentionally be mean or not be constructive or when just when you're having an interaction um, I just find it so unnecessary <laughs> but we all have to judge ourselves in the end and that's that's a given whatever you inflict on others there's always that balancing of scales, that balance of of what you put out, the energy you put out, you get that in return. So if you're putting out good energy, like nice things and nice thoughts and nice and kind, positive, um, uplifting words, encouraging words, joyful things, encouragement is a big one a lot of people you know have many things on their plate you know 
looking at someone, you can't tell what's on their plate, but maybe they have a smile on their face all the time, and they're positive, and they're trying to serve humanity the best they can, and put out good energy, yet maybe they're dealing with an illness, maybe they just found out that you know, a loved one or, or a pet is, is sick or perhaps they're struggling with, at, at their job and, um, or struggling somewhere else in life. Yet, looking at them, you would never know that they have any conflict in their life. And that goes back to judging a book by its cover. So really think about that, because if that possibility is true, which if you've listened to a lot of near-death experiences with their life review, some have said that everything, every good, well the high points anyway, all the good things that you've done in life, it's highlighted and you'll feel that but even the bad things or the negative what you chose to do because we all have free will whether it's being mean to a cashier or cutting someone off on the road for no reason um, and I'm not just saying cutting them off but actually cursing them out or you know showing aggressive behavior um, sometimes you are going to be able to feel that. So I'd be very mindful. Be mindful about how you treat others and what you put out there in the world. Whether it be in your words, your deeds, your actions, comments, whatever you write, however you feel. All of it is seen by God. All of it. So, I know some of you are perhaps being lied on. Maybe you don't even know it, but you feel it. You feel a lot of that jealousy or anger or resentment or even just flat out lies being told about you. You could feel that. You could feel it in the energy. Some of you are very empathic, intuitive, clairvoyant, claircognizant, clairaudient, prophetic. or however else you might get messages from spirit. So just be careful. Just be careful out there. If we come from having a good intention, if we come from a place of kindness and positivity and love, and I'm not saying everyone you meet will be at that place, because they won't and a lot of them will go through their life not even realizing number one maybe not even cha wanting to change number two not aware of how they are to others number three coming from a victim mentality so they continue this perpetration of um, this perpetration of their own negative thoughts. And I hope this doesn't sound too harsh, but it's important because you can't get to the end of your life and move that way all your life 
and expect redemption at the end because yes there is always God's love you're going to always have God's love but you can't take back the people the you can't take back those things which hurt people when you intentionally did so or when they someone else intentionally hurt you out of thoughtlessness out of basically being in their ego mind and when you really tap into your intuition and when you really tap into your spiritual world your spiritual life your spiritual self you're going to have a better understanding on why these things are important a lot of you are looking to heighten your abilities and to heighten and have a stronger connection with God to have that direction in order to serve your purpose which is God's purpose right ultimately so I just wanted to put that out there kindness is so powerful your words are powerful if people are saying things to hurt you or to try to hurt you there's a different level of of awareness of self-worth and self-love that you want to embody so that those words and those thoughts and all these things that are being thrown at you in essence words that may attack you gossip untruths you're protected because you know who you are and you could just chalk it off as that person just or those people or that group just choosing to be in this lower vibration of fear of lack a lot of the times you'll understand that the words and the thoughts people have if they come from a more negative vibration <clears throat> is a projection of what they think about themselves it's like it's like the one who threw the rock you like you throw the rock and hide your hand yeah so A lot of people will use that type of verbal attacks on you or because you don't know it you might not even ever be aware of it because <clears throat> it's done behind your back but it's still energy and it still can be projected projected towards you if you were unprotected being so as you raise your vibration you have God's protection we always have God's protection but there's also a balancing of the scales there's karma 
and you might disagree with me and that's okay there's many there's many ideas that I pull from there's many um, teachings I pull from 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 Christianity to Buddhism to Hinduism to metaphysical um, information to to even just my experience and a knowing everyone's different so if you find that we are nice or you are nice to people but when you get home you're horrible to your wife or your husband or your children or or whoever maybe your family you're nicer to others and you're not nice to your family you know because they know who you are then you might want to evaluate that you might want to evaluate if you really know who you are and once we have more of that awareness we can get better we could be better we could overcome those emotions we could look and we could recognize the spirit of God in everyone and that way you will really know who you are you'll be consistent on who you are you'll be consistent on, on how you treat everyone not just your co-worker that only sees you at work and then you go home you want to be consistent with the loved ones that you might have at home or your roommate or whoever I'm getting this message for some of you out there so spirit said double-faced double-faced we might know it as being two-faced or um, cowardice or hypocritical however you want to look at it or however you want to label it but know that we're all connected and there's when you're speaking to people just be mindful because words aren't words are just part of it body language how you speak the words the energy that you have there's a lot of people that speak their words but you could hear sarcasm you could hear um, backhanded compliments right and these things could be hurtful to others I'm here to sh just spread you know love joy encourage others inspire people to take a look at their spiritual path possibly develop some of those um, those spiritual gifts that we we are freely given by our Creator so The message I'm getting from spirit is like practicing humility. Practicing humility just like some of the great avatars and ascended masters that came 
before us or that's still among us because there, there's that illusion of time. And I just heard, humble yourself before life humbles you. And and I've seen it. I've seen I've seen people. Um, and I'm sure you've seen that too. It's so. Um, it's really unattractive, but I've seen people that. are in their ego to that level and we all need our ego right but this is unbalanced ego where there's so much arrogance um, and a lot of times a lot of times with it when you see an arrogant someone in that arrogant spirit, right, that ego mind, um, that winning at all costs type mentality, that better than others mentality, um, you can get to the point where you could actually sense the true insecurities in people and in those individuals so stay humble have a good balance be kind I'm never telling you what to do these are just suggestions but this is something that Spirit wants me to put out there just to, as a reminder because there's so much um, unnecessary hatred and I don't, I don't know if that's the best word but unkindness, unnecessary unkindness in this world where you don't know what people are going through perhaps they're in the middle of whatever they're going through it could be karma it could be you know um, the balancing out of whatever is occurring in their life Maybe it's loss. There's many reasons why people go through challenges. So, but we could still be kind to others. I know it's a difficult task sometimes, at times, for sure. Especially if you've, you've had maybe a lot on your plate. But um, that is the message for today. I hope that helps someone out there. Hopefully it encourages you or it will encourage you to just be aware of how you treat others, how you are being treated as well. Because on in the... On the other hand, if you are spoken to in a negative way, if you are talked down to, if you are criticized, not constructively, but just mean criticism, you don't have to stay there. You don't have to accept that for yourself. That's part of the self-worth and the self-love. So, 
love yourself, know who you are, put out what you want to see come back to you, especially in, in the emotional and mental areas, all areas really, in spiritual and physical. I'm going to leave that with you. If you like this video, please like, share, or subscribe. If you have any comments, please leave kind comments down below. Or, um, yeah. I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.